Hi friends, today I will discuss about magnetic balance test or core balance test of three phase transformer. Before discussing, I will request you please go through my channel and please subscribe my channel. Now, why magnetic balance test is done? Magnetic balance test is conducted only on three phase transformer. It is not conducted on single phase transformer. The test is done in order to check the imbalance in magnetic circuit. Result of this test indicates uniform distribution of flux in the core. That is the property of the core is tested by this result of the magnetic balance test. For YD or DY that is for uh, Y delta and delta Y type of transformer only Y side the test is done. Now the arrangement of uh, Y in D1 three phase power transformer magnetic balance test is shown in this figure. In this figure a single phase supply is given between 1 U and 1 N that is in between red and neutral in the primary side that is Y side of the transformer. Here single phase voltage is 230 volt AC supply and we measure the voltage between 1V and 1N and 1W and 1N by multimeter. Due to supply of single phase supply in between R phase to neutral, the flux distribution between the core has been shown in this figure. In this figure, phi is the uh, net flux and phi1 is the flux in the Y phase limb and phi2 is the flux in the B phase limb. Since phi, phi is equal to mmf by reluctance, mmf is equal to ni, where n is the number of turn of the winding, i is the current through the winding. And R2 is the reluctance for the path of B, C, D, E, and R1 is the reluctance for path of B, E. Since R2 mm, is mm, greater than 2 to 2.5 to 3 times of R1, therefore, Phi 1 will be uh, 70 to 75 percent of the net flux and Phi 2 will be uh, 25 to 30 percent of the net flux. Therefore, induced voltage in um, Y phase limb will be 70 to 75 percent of the supply voltage and uh, in case of B phase it will be 25 um, to 30 percent of the supply voltage. After giving supply between 1U and 1N. Now supply is given in between 1V and 1N and we measure the voltage between 1U and 1N and 1W and 1N by means of multimeter. Due to supply in between Y phase to neutral, the flux distribution has been shown in this figure. Since the reluctance uh, path of B, A, F, E and in between B, C, D, E is identical therefore half of the flux will be flow through the R phase limb and in between uh, B phase limb therefore 50 percent of the induced uh, supply voltage will be induced in R phase to neutral and 50 percent of the supply voltage will be induced in between B phase to neutral. Similarly supply is given in between 1W and 1N and we measure the voltage in between 1U and 1N and in between 1B and 1N by means of multimeter and record the voltage. Due to given supply in between B phase to neutral, the flux distribution has been shown in this figure. Here, due to uh, reluctance of path BAFE is greater than in between reluctance of the path BE to 2.5 to 3 times therefore the 70 to 75 percent flux will be flow through the Y phase limb and 25 percent to 30 percent of the flux will flow through the R phase of the limb therefore 25 to 30 percent of the supply voltage will be induced in R phase to neutral and 70 to 75 percent uh, of supply voltage will be induced in between Y phase and neutral winding. The test result for magnetic balance test of 132 by 33 kb 50 mb yn d1 transformer in y side of the transformer has been shown in this table. When supply is given in between 
uh, R phase and neutral in the Y side, their supply voltage is 233.4 volt. Induced voltage in between VB and is equal to 175.7 volt and in between VCN will be 57.5 volt. When the supply is given in between VB and that is in between Y phase and neutral in the Y side of the transformer, where supply voltage is 233.4 volt and induced voltage in between BN and VCN are 118.3 and 115 volt respectively. When the supply is given in between VC and that is in between V phase to neutral, the supply voltage is 233.5 volt. The induced voltage in between BAN and VBN are 57.1 and 176.2 volt respectively.